political. Let's talk about the economic. If you take everything in that first column, the belligerents involved, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, are collectively the world's largest supplier, second largest for the second column, and so on. The folks at the CIA asked me to come present this one slide to them about a month ago. Yeah, 64 words, one slide, deep in the bowels of the agency. That was not intimidating at all. It's like they had all kinds of questions, but they wouldn't answer any of mine. Let me just talk about a few of these real quick. First of all, aluminum and, and titanium. The Russian system doesn't have any bauxite. So what they do is they import bauxite, they import alumina, the intermediate product that is eventually turned into the metal. And they bring it into the Russian system. Now, when the Russian industry collapsed at the end of the Cold War, all their power generation was left, but all their industry went away. So they had all this extra electricity. So they use that electricity to turn the raw materials into the finished metal, and then they export it. The problem for the Russians is most of the bauxite and aluminum, about three quarters of the total, comes from Australia and Ireland, countries that have said, you know, we're not going to trade with you anymore. So it's in the process of going down. The primary customer for Russian aluminum is Airbus. Then there's titanium. The ore that the Russians export isn't from Russia, it's from Ukraine. The ore is exported to Russia for processing with all that extra electricity, and then the titanium metal is exported. Their primary customer is Airbus. You guys have all heard about Brexit, right? God, what a shit show. Airbus is a consortium of aerospace companies from Spain, France, Germany, and Britain. They all make different parts of the plane. The Brits make the wings and the engine. The Brits are trying to get a free trade deal with the United States. And we've made it very clear, sure, that's great. You gotta ditch Airbus, you gotta join Boeing. <laughs> Which means that the future of European aviation is one without aluminum, titanium, wings, or engine.